Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. This lesson shows you the tools you can use to modify pictures you insert into your PowerPoint presentation slides. After you insert a picture and then click it to select it, either a Picture Format Contextual tab or a Format tab of a Picture Tools Contextual tab then appears in the ribbon depending on your Office version. This tab contains the main functions you use to format pictures. Note this contextual tab only appears if a picture is selected in a slide. The buttons in the Adjust button group let you make different types of image adjustments to the currently selected picture. To remove the background from a selected picture, click the Remove Background button. If you click this button, the Background Removal contextual tab then appears in the ribbon. PowerPoint then shows the area to discard in purple. Then use the Mark Areas to Keep or Mark Areas to Remove buttons to change your mouse pointer into a pencil that lets you draw lines to indicate sections of the picture to keep or remove depending on which button you clicked. To remove the selected background, click the Keep Changes button. Alternatively, to cancel the changes, click the Discard All Changes button. To select a preset picture correction, click the Corrections button and then click a Preset Adjustment option in the Sharpen Soften and Brightness Contrast sections. Note that selecting the Picture Corrections Options command at the bottom of the dropdown then opens the Picture Corrections category of the Format Picture task pane at the right side of the window. We'll examine changing the settings within the Format Picture task pane in the following lessons of this chapter. To change the picture's color, use the Color dropdown button. Then choose an option from the Color Saturation, Color Tone, or Recolor section to apply it. Alternatively, to see More Color Choices, roll over the More Variations command in the drop-down menu to select a color choice from the palette of colors that appears. Alternatively, to remove a color from the picture, click the Set Transparent Color command and then click a color to remove it from the picture and replace it with Transparency. Alternatively, to open the Format Picture Task Pane and set Advanced Color and Correction Options, click the Picture Color Options command from the Color drop-down button. To apply a preset artistic effect to a picture, click the Artistic Effects drop-down button and select one from its drop-down menu. Alternatively, to open the Format Picture Task Pane to apply an artistic effect, Click the Artistic Effects Options command. To select a transparency level for the picture, click the Transparency button and then choose a preset from the button's drop down menu. Alternatively, to open the Format Picture Task pane and set the transparency level in its Picture Transparency section, click the Picture Transparency Options command in the button's drop down menu. To compress pictures in PowerPoint, select the pictures to compress in the slide. Then click the Compress Pictures button in the Adjust button group on the Picture Format contextual tab in the ribbon. To compress only the selected pictures, check the Apply Only to This Picture checkbox in the Compress Pictures dialog box that then opens. Alternatively, to compress all the presentation's pictures, uncheck this checkbox. To delete any cropped areas, check the Delete Cropped Areas of Pictures checkbox. Then choose the resolution that suits your needs. Then click the OK button to compress the pictures and close the dialog box. Note that this only works with picture files like JPEG and GIF. To replace the currently selected picture with another, click the Change Picture button. 
Then select the source of the replacement picture from the drop-down menu that appears. To open the Insert Picture dialog box, which lets you navigate to a local picture file to use as the replacement, select the From a File command. Alternatively, to open a window that lets you click to select a stock image from Microsoft, select the From Stock Images command. Alternatively, to open the Online Pictures window, which lets you select a replacement from Bing Image Search, select the From Online Sources choice. Alternatively, to open a window that lets you select an icon from Microsoft, choose the From Icons command. Alternatively, to paste the last thing you copied to your clipboard as the replacement picture, click the From Clipboard command. To reset any changes made to a selected picture, click the Reset Picture button in the Adjust button group on the Picture Format Contextual tab in the ribbon. To choose which changes to reset for a selected picture, click the drop down arrow on the Reset Picture button to choose either Reset Picture, which resets formatting options only, or choose Reset Picture and Size, which resets both formatting and sizing changes. The next button group in the Picture Format Contextual tab is the Picture Styles button group. To apply preset picture styles to a selected picture, click any picture style in the Picture Styles button group on the Picture Format Contextual tab in the ribbon. To see a preview of a style before applying it, hold your mouse pointer over a style in this list. To scroll through the styles, click the upward and downward facing arrows to the right of the list. To see all available styles at once, click the More button below the two arrows to fully open the selection box. To add a picture border, click the Picture Border drop down button, then click the border color to apply. To quickly change the border's thickness, sketching style, or dash style, then either roll over the Weight, Sketched, or dashes command in the Picture Border Buttons drop-down menu and select a choice from the respective side menu of choices that appears. To display a listing of stylistic categories to apply to the picture, click the Picture Effects drop-down button in the Picture Styles button group on the Picture Format Contextual tab of the ribbon. Then roll your mouse pointer over a category to show a listing of styles for that category. To preview a style on the selected slide picture, Hover your mouse pointer over any style. To apply a style, click a style. To convert your picture to a smart art graphic, click the Picture Layout button. Then click a smart art style to apply from the options that appear. This lets you incorporate pictures into your smart art to add supplemental text. To add an alternative text description of a selected picture for user accessibility, click the Alt Text button in the Accessibility button group to open the Alt Text pane at the right side of the window. To try to automatically generate a picture description if there is no description entered, click the Generate a Description for Me button in this pane. Alternatively, to type your own description, click into the large white text box and type a simple description of the picture. To skip the description if the image is purely decorative, instead check the Mark as Decorative checkbox to not distract the reader. To close the alt text pane, click the X button in its upper right corner. The Arrange button group contains buttons that let you change the placement of the selected picture in the slide. To change the order in which a selected picture overlaps other slide objects, click either the Bring Forward or Send Backward drop-down button and then choose an option to apply to the selected picture. To toggle the display of the selection pane on or off, Click the Selection Pane button in the Arrange button group of the Format Picture Contextual tab in the ribbon.
To adjust the alignment of a selected picture, click the Align Objects button to choose an alignment option from the drop-down menu of choices. To group multiple selected slide objects together into a single object, select the slide objects to group. Then click the Group Objects button in the Arrange button group. Then choose the Group command from the drop-down menu. To ungroup a grouped object, select the grouped object. Then click the Group Objects button in the Arrange button group. Then choose the Ungroup command. To rotate or flip a selected picture, click the Rotate button, then select the Rotation or Flipping command to apply from the drop-down menu. The buttons in the Size button group let you crop and resize pictures. To crop a selected picture, which removes unwanted or excess parts of it, click the Crop button. A bounding box with cropping handles then appears around the selected picture. Then click and drag inward on any of the cropping handles that appear around the picture to mark those sections as the parts to remove. To crop the selected parts away, then click the Crop button again. To uncrop if you make a mistake, click the Crop button. Then drag the cropping handles back outwards to restore parts of the image that were lost. Then click the Crop button again. Alternatively, to reset the picture back to its original state if needed, click the Reset Picture button in the Adjust button group. Alternatively, to crop a selected picture to fit a selected shape, click the Drop Down button under the Crop button. Then roll over the Crop to Shape command. Then select a desired shape from the side menu of choices that appears. Alternatively, to crop a selected picture to a selected aspect ratio, click the drop down button under the crop button. Then roll over the aspect ratio command. Then select one of the aspect ratios from the side menu that appears. To increase or decrease the height or width of a selected picture, use the spinner arrows at the right end of either the Shape Height and Shape Width spinner boxes in the Size button group. To make more specific changes to a picture's size, click the Size and Position Task Pane Launcher button in the lower right corner of the Size button group on the Picture Format contextual tab of the ribbon. In the Size and Properties category of the Format Picture Task Pane that appears, you can enter the height and width into the text boxes provided under the Size section. To adjust the relational aspect, meaning the height to width ratio of the selected picture, first uncheck the Lock Aspect Ratio checkbox in the Size section, then enter the height and width independently. To enter a degree of rotation to apply to the picture, use the Rotation Spinner button. To scale the picture, enter a scaling percentage into the Scale Height and or Scale Width fields. You can also check or uncheck the next two checkboxes in this section as needed when making size and scale changes. They let you lock the aspect ratio, and determine if the scaling ratio used is based on the current picture scale or on the scale of the original picture. Separately, to scale the selected picture for the best display for a slideshow, check the Best Scale for Slideshow checkbox. To reset any picture sizing changes, click the Reset button at the bottom of the Size section in this pane. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.